Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is New Eternal Exploits. Before I start, sorry I've not had videos for a long time. We had a week-long sales kickoff event one week, and another week I was out for family medical issues. In any case, I'm back with more videos this week. Today's story has to do with the NSA leaked Eternal Blue and other vulnerabilities like Eternal Synergy, Eternal Champions, and, and other Eternal internal vulnerabilities that was part of a NSA leak done by a mysterious organization calling themselves shadow brokers. Now you might remember Eternal Blue. This was a Windows SMB or NetBIOS vulnerability that WannaCry, the ransomware used to become a ransom worm and automatically spread inside your network. This vulnerability was a zero day issue that was leaked from the NSA and it's what the bad guys used in WannaCry. Now, there there were other similar vulnerabilities like the ones I mentioned, Eternal Champion, Eternal Synergy, and a few more. In any case, these were leaked a while ago, but the news today is that a researcher has created new, very reliable exploits for these vulnerabilities that work for two decades worth of Windows. Not only do they work for the, the latest versions of Windows if you haven't patched, more importantly, they also work for older variants of Windows, like Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows 2003, and so on. In short, this researcher released a GitHub project with these exploits which work in Metasploit. I won't cover the technical details too much, but one of the things about these new versions of exploits is they don't rely on shell code in order to execute code. I won't go into a lot of detail, but it's kind of hard and unreliable to use shell code, and instead this researcher found a different way to exploit these vulnerabilities that still results in you executing code is system. But again, the big deal is these new variants of these exploits work on older versions of Windows like Windows 2000 and Windows XP. Why is that a problem? Because these versions of Windows are end of life. While Microsoft has fixed these vulnerabilities in modern versions of Windows, they haven't released patches for all of these new vulnerabilities in older unpatched versions of Windows. And really there's no intention for them because those products are end of life. So I want to point out these vulnerabilities because believe it or not, some organizations out there still have the odd old Windows server or old Windows computer. There's a lot of organizations still using Windows XP. Believe it or not, I've seen Windows 2000 and Windows 2003 servers hanging around. Really, it's kind of dangerous to still use these unsupported operating systems because they won't be patched. At the very least, if there's technical reasons why maybe an old web application or old code requires these old servers, you definitely need to use a firewall or a unified threat management appliance to not only block external access to these devices, but use all kinds of security services like IPS and antivirus to make sure bad guys can't put bad stuff on these servers. Anyways, I just found these updated eternal exploits to be interesting, largely because they affect older versions of Windows and they're much easier to exploit. If you are a pen tester or interested in auditing your network, check out the GitHub because you can use these exploits yourself in Metasploit. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.